make any noise. Sons are really good, lads, aren't they? Of course they are. Aye. The boys are clever and serious-minded. True, MacGregor's are. But they are young and boys talk a lot. That's true when they go into the village and go courting. They talk to the girls. And that's all the girls Aye. want, that. Aye. It's our duty. Anyway, our minds are made up. If you know nothing, you risk nothing. That's what Grandfather MacGregor used to say. Lord Kenneth was a wise man. He certainly was. Come on, now. It will be safe here. How sad it is, Harold. We can no longer get up at night and enjoy our gold. It's sad, but necessary. Well, let's clear out before it gets any lighter. I feel better now. of a Scots family, you must have the good taste not to sing the praises of Ireland, which is, after all, one of our colonies. <sighs> Mr. McGregor, when you're the host of the Irish, you cannot insult my country and go scot-free. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> Mr. Donovan, it's always a great pleasure for me when you give me the chance to have a frank chat. Oh, <laughs> Go on, Papa! <laughs> Although this is hardly the time or place, I will gladly discuss our political views, my friend. <laughs> That's not so, Mr. Donovan. You just came here to drink our whiskey. <laughs> Aren't you afraid they'll be hurt? Oh, no. Not a chance, Rosita. They've been doing this for 30 years. They're still the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Fight back. Yes, we will, we will. <laughs> <laughs> 
like rainy days at all. Spot eater? Yes. It's better when it's sunny. I love the wind. I never care at all if my hair gets mussed. I'll bet you're a lot prettier at that. All kind of must. Show you a swimming. Long live Ireland! I'll see you. Use for you. Carry on. <laughs> if you were a lake, I'd rest on your banks. Every second, every hour, all through my days. Uh, Dundalks, get going! Slaughter them! What is it? What's going on? Let go of me, you brute. You can't strangle my emotions. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> ah, what a party. It does your heart good, doesn't it? Yes, I've never seen so much life in this crowd. <laughs> Be. We haven't seen the for 20 years. Boys, let's go. They're coming towards us. Run, Gregor. Get your guns. Ready. Keep your head down. Everybody, get your guns. Give me the gun. There's always something going on here. Gregor, come inside. Keep your heads down. I want to shoot, too. Give me a laugh. Sorry, Apache. I hurt you. A lot less than a bullet would. Damn my new cap. We mustn't let them close in on us. We must get out there and attack. Gregor, you'd better go out the back door. I'll take the wagon. Give us cover. Very well. You women don't waste too many bullets. Bullets and his pencils! Oh, 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 I beg you. Get out of the way. Oh. Harold, wouldn't you say it's time for Queen Anne? Of course it is. Oh. Oh, I beg you, please. Oh. Get out of here, will you? Wait. Oh, to hell! Go to hell, everybody! Come on, hurry. Come on, here. doing now? They're running away. No sense chasing them, I guess. I've never seen an attack like that. But why should they run away? Yes, something's not right. Better get back to the ranch. Ha! Get up! What's the idiot trying to say? What's going on here? Oh, son, it's a catastrophe. Oh, I can't bear it. We're ruined all our gold. We've stolen all the McGregor gold we buried here. <laughs> well, now look at the 
the McGregors, they certainly have been hit where it really hurts. Oh, brother. <laughs> Gregor, this was in the hall. Says all my thanks and greetings, Frank James. <laughs> trying to convince Rosina not to come with us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> come on, guys. Mount up. Be on the alert, boys. Frank James is the most dangerous criminal in the West mm -hmm. since the death of his brother, Jesse. We'll try to be just a little smarter than you were, Dad. Now, wait, Gregor. We thought we were doing the right thing for everyone. For you and the others. We wanted to protect you. Yes. So we've noticed. Mm. Look there! They're coming back. Who are they? Those damn tramps. They're always pestering us. Someone, fetch a gun. Oh, oh. Hello, my friends. What do you want? Hello, you handsome boy. I know our arrival's unexpected, but we're asking a great favor. The bandits stole two of our best horses, and uh, we have to get to El Paso right away. There's no concern of ours. Could you please manage the loan of some horses? Really, I promise they'll get the best of care. And we'll get them back to you within six days. No, absolutely not. What about the three bales of hay? You were supposed to return the hay in a week, and it's been four years now. You're mistaken. That was the circus. These gypsies are all one and the same. I'd be glad to repay the favor. Do you need some teeth pulled out? Uh, never mind. Our teeth are sewn. See here. Well, then, may I suggest an elixir against impotence? We don't want to die of poisoning. Go away. Get out of here. Why not try a love potion? It's infallible. We're not interested. Now clear out. We want nothing to do with you. Uh, you should try a love potion, too. No one can resist it. Is that so? How about resisting a bullet? Rosita, stop it. All right, give them the horses, Pa. Well, it looks like I'll have to see that you're given the orders now. Come on, Peter. Let's not waste time. Gregor. Careful, darling. Try not to be rash. And come back soon. Errol, get them two horses. And see they're the worst ones. Such a waste, Sir Gregor is. Will all of us end up bankrupt? Bye. Bye, Rosita. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye on Gregor. We'll see he gets to bed early. <laughs> <laughs>
Frank James, come out. Frank James, come out. You're surrounded. Come on out. There's no use resisting. Seven guns are aimed at you. Frank James, surrender in 10 seconds. We'll open fire. Frank James. That's me. Yes, sir. Frank James. Brother of Jesse. Huh. We're looking for the terror of the West. I am the terror of the West. I was, anyway. 20 years in jail. Yes, sir. Three suspended hanging sentences. What do you want with this old terror of the West? Our gold was stole from us the other day. <laughs> Me? Why, I forgot the color of gold. <laughs> Is that so? Mm hmm? What about this? Let's see. Mm. All my thanks and greetings from Frank James. Mm hmm? I see, this is another dirty trick of that rascal Maldonado. That thieving son of a she-dog. <laughs> if that dirty coyote doesn't stop it, I'll have to have my brother Jesse teach him a good lesson. Jesse? But Jesse James has been dead now more than ten years. Oh, yeah, that's what you think. No, Jesse will never die. He still rides at night in the moonlight, at the head of all of his men. He'll never die. All right, all right. What about this Maldonado? <laughs> that rascally son of an old Mexican she-goat always playing tricks on me. He leaves my name on everything that he does. Yes, sir. With greetings from Frank James. I got ten years in jail once for something he did and then blame me. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Look here. I want you to see my pets. I trained them myself when I was in jail, I did. They come to me, come and eat right from my hand. Yes, uh, yes, watch. I'll show you. Eh? No, thanks. We'd just like to know where Maldonado's hiding. Well, there isn't an outsider knows Maldonado's hideout. That is, it's kept secret. At least nobody will tell where it is. <laughs> but listen, if you want to find out, I'll tell you how. The easiest way to find his hideout is just locate and follow one of his men. You'll find his men in Fresno, in San Rafael, and in Yellowstone. I'm sure that you'll be able to pick up some information in one of those three towns. <laughs> Thank you for your help. <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> my, it recalled to me my old days. When I used to leave notes. Yes, the good old days. <laughs> Come on, boys. We got work to do if we want to get back our gold. And when you see Maldonado, tell him that Frank James, the terror of the West, hopes he drops dead. Yes, sir. I wish him dead. That's all I ask in life. Here they are, Maldonado. They tell me you're the puny cowards that were intimidated by those miners of San Rafael. That won't happen again, I assure you. 
Miguel! Those who are chosen, step forward quickly. Every third man. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. always worked well together. Just remember, I was the first and most faithful of your men. You would be dead now if I had not rescued you. That's true, Rock. You were valiant. You are right, my friend. You deserve special treatment. No! No! Go back to San Rafael. Now listen, before the sun sets there tonight, I want every house burned! Kill everybody! Be gone! I'd be going along with you. I'd be riding with my man if it weren't for this stupid pain, so... This is a sign from heaven, Maldonado! It's a divine curse on you! And this is only the first sign of what is to come to you. Shut up, priests. Get out before I forget I'm a good Christian. Get away from me! No, no, it is necessary at last that I be allowed to speak out. You're the Antichrist! Get him out of my sight! You're the you devil! You're the father. devil! That's who you are! You're painless! Huh? Send someone for a tooth drawer. Get the best in the district. Okay, right away. Hurry! <laughs> Too late. Maldonado's gone already. We'll make him pay for this, too. Yeah, but first, he's got to be located. Don't you see? I have my doll Chiquita here. Mm-hmm. And your mother? Your father? Have they been killed? No, senor. They're all right. Very well, senor. Yes. Uh, then where are they? They're away. Uh, who's your father? He's a bandit, senor. Who does he ride with? Oh, Maldonado, senor. The best bandit in the world. But right now, where's your papa at? With Maldonado, senor. Mm. Yes, I'm sure he is. Where's Maldonado, little girl? With my father, senor. But when they get tired, these bandits, like your father and Maldonado, then where do they sleep, huh? Do you really think I'm going to tattle on Maldonado to three gringo spies, senores? <laughs> Will you change this into tens, please? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, there you are. Get a move on. We're in a hurry. 
Good day, friend. I want to make a deposit. We've hit it. These men will take us right to Maldonado. If it's the will of the good Lord. Hurry up, snap to it, and pair all of the horses. Right. Thou shalt not be a killer, priest. Who lives by the gun will die by the gun. Get to the safe. Come on. You get out of here. Go on, get out. Well? Does it open? Move. Everybody line up by the safe. Come on, didn't you understand? Can you open it? No. Can you? Mm -hmm. Are you? I can't. Only the manager. <laughs> Stop, priest. You better start saying your prayers. Oh. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> now open that safe or you'll get the same thing. <laughs> Hurry up. You can take a little rest now, preacher. If we hurt you, please excuse us. Just take a look at that. I could be president with that much money. <laughs> This one's a protestant. Well, all right then. The Lord is my light, my salvation. When the wicked one shall try to eat of thy flesh, they shall stumble and die. Believe it. The scriptures say it. Well, we better not. Yes, you never can tell. supplies I need. Not interested. Take what you want and pay. Cash. This is the place, all right. We're in luck. You wait outside. When you hear me whistle, come running. All right. I got everything I need, Marnie. 
but I don't think I have enough cash. Your prices are too high. Couldn't I pay you a little at a time? Didn't you hear what I said? I can't give any credit in this store. If you want any credit, you have to join the Miners Association. Association? Hmm. And be in the hands of those dirty crooks? That's no business of mine. I only sell for cash. I can't change a thing. Now look out. Oh, sir? Oh, sorry, miss. I was talking to myself. Oh, but why? Well, you were passing by, and I didn't want anyone to disturb us. <laughs> <laughs> what an amusing young man you are. How much is this, Marty? I'm sorry I can't sell you anything, so you better get out. What are you talking about? Oh, I understand. Still here, Lopez? If you would only join the Miners Association, you'd have an easier life and be protected from guys like Mani. That's dirty blackmail, Lopez. Hey, now, how much is this? That's $18. Here you are. $19. $1 for the inconvenience. This is very inconvenient. Ah, get him. So you see, I'm a stranger here. Ah, I'm a stranger too. I'm passing through en route to Kansas City. Kansas City. You're lucky. Mesa's pay me a visit. <gasps> That's Gregor. Sorry. Oh. I'd like to get undressed and take a bath. 
Try and say that to Father. Can you imagine it? Come on, come on. Done with your work if you want to have a dowry. <laughs> we'll have to find the man first. <laughs> There may not be very much gold, but do you see what I see? Let's get rid of the old man and the Indian. And the girls, like little newborn lambs, will fall into our hands. <laughs> Go on, fetch the others. The men are waiting. seem to come from the Donovan place. Sounds like trouble. You better see what's going on. Come on. Shots. Your brothers got here just in time. We were attacked. Who were they? There they are. We managed to kill quite a few of them. The others all ran away. Those bandits were Maldonados. And just like that, you let them run away? We're sorry. We didn't think of that. Our luck so far is all bad. We've been up and down the country trying to catch one of Maldonado's men. And just when you think you've got a chance. Donovan, can you lend us Apache? The tracks might still be clear. It's a pleasure. Of course I'll do it. <laughs> hey, you. Go with them. On your horses. Hurry up. Maybe there's still time. Bye.
Good morning. Good morning. It's a surprise. Good morning. Where are you headed? Good morning. Some fiesta? Quite the contrary. A funeral and mine. Oh, Papa's always imagining things. Uh -huh. We've been sent for by Maldonado. Can we go with you? Oh, yes. What a grand idea. Uh, yes, indeed. We'd be protected when... Uh, that is... No! Why not? Because I was forced on my honor to swear to it that I would tell no one where Maldonado's hideout was or he'd have me skinned alive. But I have, so I'm a liar. He who lies for a good end is not a liar. Saul 23. Uh, yes, yes. However, it's much better if we go alone, because they gave me instructions. My escort is to meet me there at Saul's Gorge. We'll be walking. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, don't forget we just borrowed these boys' horses. They could decide to take them away. Well, she's right. Boys, you better unhitch the horses. We're taking them back with us. Oh, please don't, boys. Oh, wait. Wait, please. You can't do this to me. Please, I beg of you. Don't you understand? If you take my horses, how will I get to Maldonado's? To not show up could mean my life. Whichever way you look at it, you'll end up dead, so we might as well come. Boys, we'll get to Maldonado, escorted by his men. Ah, oh, yes, fine, yes, but it's still my skin. And if they find out, I'll be skinned alive just like that, McGregor. No, they won't find out. We'll hide in the wagon. You, Apache, take the horses back oh. home. <laughs> Please, Daddy, may I hide inside, too? Oh, thanks, Gregor. <laughs> oh, you're very strong. Thanks for the help. Oh, it's a real pleasure for me. Come on, boys. Come inside. Come on. Get inside, little boy. <laughs> Alistair, will you come here, dear, quickly? Why is our boy's horses in that Donovan's Indian? They must be mad to give their horses to an Indian. He's brought them back, though. Has Gregor sent news? I hope he has that. Hello, Apache. Why do you bring back the horses? Tell us the reason. Where's Gregor? I don't get it. What's she trying to say? I understand. The cheat. But why, Rosita? Why, the Indian's only. No, the Indian's not a cheat. No, it's Gregor. That man know what he's done. Hmm. He's joined up with Dolly. And they're headed... They're going to Mexico. How come you'd guess that? <laughs> With that blonde, I'm going to scratch her eyes out. You know where exactly? Ah, Saul's Gorge. Now, where are you going? To wring her neck. In that dress, it's a long journey. You'll be all bedraggled. I'm aware that it's a long journey. And with all that time on her hands, there's no telling what Donnie will do. But, my dear, you can't go on a journey in that dress. You'll get there looking like a rag. And she... Hmm. I certainly would, it's true. You must change your dress. We will help you, right? You help her choose something suitable. Darn it, won't come unhooked. Don't you worry about it, dear. I'll help you. Hurry, hurry. I must go. Don't be so nervous, dear. Now the blouse. After all, the other boys are there in the wagon with Gregor, no? One or seven. I know her kind. It won't change her act. Uh, I wasn't born yesterday. I know what I'm talking about. Where are you going with my things? Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Annie, Mamie, don't! Open this door! She'll be all right now. I'm sure she'll calm down. Uh, you were right. God knows what kind of trouble the boys would have with her. Mm. 
Uh, women are certainly terrible when they're jealous. <laughs> Smarter than you. This is madness. She's outwitted us. Where in just her drawers? Hold! Hold! Hey, hey! You can't pass through here. Who we're expected? You must be Trevor then, the toothpaste. Ah, that's me, yes. At your service. I have no use for you. The Negro, huh? Your daughter, where's she? I'm coming. Hello there. Come on. We must hurry. With that bad tooth hurting Maldonado, man to be killed. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why? Because that's Maldonado. He doesn't need a reason. <laughs> Very well. Get up, horse. Let's move forward. Yo! Rosita? Rosita, here. Hi. Tell me, Hi. wouldn't you do the same? <laughs> sure. <laughs> here, that's women. Never try to understand. La Virgen del Dio su manto. Priestly, senor, you have to pray for me. You must pray for a miracle to help me get rid of this toothache. A miracle must be asked with faith and humility. You will act only as I think. I'm ordering you. Procession will continue. Sing out, sing out. Stop! Where do you think you're going? I don't know. Someone said I'd find a tooth puller here. Oh, I'm in terrible pain. There is one, yes. But this happens to be Maldonado's territory. Let her through. If Maldonado sees her, he might give us a prize. Very well. You may go on, senorita. But come back quickly. I want to have a talk with you. <laughs> Get up there. If Maldonado likes her, you'll have some waiting to do. I would wait ten years for her. You pray for the welfare of your chief? But I can't sing. There are seven guns ready to shoot you. Sing. I'm tone deaf. Sing! <coughs> Put more feeling into it, brother. Oh, Lord, love. 
Excellency, which is the tooth in question? That one. Huh? You mean... Yes, you'll take out one of his first so I can watch it. No, no. I haven't any bite teeth. You're saying that all mine are rotten? No, no. Take it out. Which is ours? Very difficult. Impossible, really. But the other chests are not ours. Nor Maldonado. Well, we better take it off for the time being, I guess. Then we can decide. 
We can find out who it belongs to when we're out of here. Now let's steal some horses. <laughs> well done, Father. Happy now? Huh? Yeah. Call the others up here. My little lamb. Come with us, Tigeris. <laughs> Let go of me. All are tight. Hey, there's a prize for our victory, Senorita, will be our guest. No, no. Come on. I want to. No. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> I'll find you, even in the dark. This is more exciting. There isn't any way out of here. All the exits are covered and the windows are barred. And there is no one to help you out.
Damn you, you bite like a real tiger. It'll be no use, though. You idiot! It's serious, Maldonado! Maldonado! Our gold's been... What about it? It's been stolen! What are you saying? How did it happen? Seven strangers were hooded in the procession. You betrayed me! But I'm innocent! I, I, the guards! It was a fault of the guards! Where are the guards? All dead! They killed them, Maldonado! They are lucky to be dead! Or I would torture them to death! You'd have done better to let yourself be shot! No, Maldonado, no! If I let them kill you, I wouldn't have anybody now to tell you who stole the gold. No. I swear I'll find the gold. Let Give me one more me. chance. Be quiet. Wait. The girl, Maldonado. I know her. She's engaged to one of the McGregors. That's who she is. That's it. It was them. Where are they, Alf? Stop. Don't touch her. She's very precious. Take her away. With her help, we shall get our gold. That means one thing. No, we're in luck, eh? That means she didn't leave Maldonado even one nougat. Yeah, they're full to the brim. We sure cleaned them out good. Well, there they are, the darlings, me beauties. <laughs> I'd like to be a Mormon and marry all three chests. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you meet Rosita? Meet Rosita? Uh, even in her pants, uh, she's a beautiful girl. Her pants? It was necessary to lend her my best dress. Now, look here, you Scots. I know that you're misers, but you could have afforded a dress for your fiancé. What do you mean? She came here. She was very angry with you when also that tooth puller's blonde. She was running after you. Who could have told her I went with him? So it was you, huh? Do you realize what you've done? As jealous as she is, she's bound to give us a lot of trouble. Gregor, we're coming with you. No, it's my affair. You go tell our folks. You can't make it on your own. I'll make it. You go on home. It's an order. This is my business. Hey, where are you going? We can't let him go alone. He'll be caught. Of course we can't let him go alone. But if we go too, without some kind of plan, they're bound to catch us all. This requires a brilliant idea. What do you say, Johnny? I agree. But it's not easy. Listen, our parents spent a lot of money to see that you got a good education. Money which was also ours. Don't tell me it was all wasted. You're the only one that can help us. Why throw it on me? I only studied theology. Still, you studied. No more talk. Let me think. Boys, I have it. and load the donkeys and bring in the staff. What are you doing? Give it to me. That's not for the prisoners. They get potatoes and beans. No need to overdo it. You could feel them at least.
Hey, look where you put your feet. Now look what you've done, you stupid idiot. Hey, that fool got stuck watching the girl. <laughs> Come on, get up. That was just a taste. <laughs> All right, hands up. Over against the wall. Come on, get moving, quickly. Move, I said. Drop your guns. him alive, and I want him alive. <laughs> How are you doing, Scott? <laughs> That's all you've spoken to. <laughs> Stop. Don't murder the fool till my treasure's been returned. A coat with gringo skin lining. That is some luxury. Now, very unusual. Huh? What do you think, my friends? Quite elegant. <laughs> you ever see a rabbit skin? Know how I'll do it? Like this. And this. And the cross here. Then inside. I'll blow with this. <laughs> You'll peel and blow up just like that, yes. It won't even hurt. What will hurt, though, is the salt I'll put on it. <laughs> Maldonado! Maldonado! We've come here to make a deal with you, Maldonado. We've got all the gold with us. You can have it if you let the two prisoners go. Show me the gold. Where is it? In there, look. In the wagon to the last nugget. We'll judge that. Go on and load. Peter! Kenneth! Dick, unload the gold! Put the chest down there, then move away from them! the prisoners, huh? Listen, there is only one here who decides what to do, and that's me, understand? Now do as I say. Get away from there. Miguel, you better check. Stay calm.
This way, we're bound to lose half our forces. But I have an idea. It just takes a few men. And you do as I say.
You go ahead. I want to see what happens. Listen. You hear a whistle? No, I hear nothing. to the others. Go on. Yeah. 